Welcome back to Holo Holo. Kat and Neva here. Before the break, we heard from Transcendent stars Johnny Depp, Morgan Freeman, and Kate Mara. Now, imagine if your brain is connected to the internet. You have all the power and intelligence in the world, plus you can feel and think like a human. Scary, right? Like anything, I would think it can go either really well or really bad. That's exactly what the characters in Transcendence must battle with in the movie. Up next, we have stars Paul Bettany, Rebecca Hall, and director Wally Pfister talking about the film. Entertainment insider Cindy J. Lee chats with them. Take a look. Do you want to save her or not? We have a location, 4550 San Pablo. Let's go! Let's go! Hey, you hear me? Hi, Paul. Hello. So you play Dr. Max Waters in the movie. Your character, he supports Dr. Evelyn in her study for artificial intelligence, yet he doesn't completely trust it. So how is it like dealing with that dilemma in the film? They're studying the brain in order to create a sentient computer. Um, he doesn't think that that's possible. So, but he does think that they're both brilliant research scientists and that they will make amazing discoveries that will have medical applications. Um, and that's what he's interested in. What were some of the challenges you faced when playing this role? I am not a scientist, so, and that I can't understand. I mean, I really can't. I can't understand it in a, in a really visceral way, but I can understand a man who does something that is, is morally questionable um, because he loves another person. So did you do anything to prepare for your role as a scientist? I did, but mainly just so I didn't feel like an idiot actor because there's only so much that you can, you know, you, you are, you, you know, I'm not under the delusion. I played a, 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 I played a, a doctor in a, 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 a movie, as I played a surgeon, and you really wouldn't want me to operate you. I mean, I spent a lot of time with uh, surgeons and, um, uh, you know, you, 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 you're just, you are only trying to approximate this thing. If your brain were connected to the internet and you had all the power in the world, would you trust yourself? No, I no, uh, no, I wouldn't. Um, I, and I would d be doing far too much online shopping. <laughs> and transferring like funds into your bank account. Uh, that's like that. with, with, with absolute certainty. Okay. <laughs> Your character goes through an emotional journey in the movie. How was it like um, playing the character and what were some challenges you faced? Well, it was, I suppose the challenge was to try and chart her evolution from beginning to end because it, she goes through an awful lot and she has to, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's very difficult to comprehend of uh, a character making choices that are so far out of your own realm of experience. I mean, it's not, it's not often that you find yourself with your husband dying and you have the option to upload his brain to a computer. Exactly. <laughs> so that, that was a challenge number one. But that, um, And then to go from there to that place of denial and um, belief, confidence of the conviction, and then realize that she's made a morally questionable choice and then to have to live with that over a number of years. How is it like working with Johnny? Uh, well, Johnny Depp is, is Johnny Depp. There's, a, there's no way around it. He is, he is what he is, and he's, a, he's an extraordinary person, and I feel very, very lucky to work with him. And it's genuinely one of the most rewarding, uh, creative uh, working relationships I've ever had with another actor. He's incredibly generous, incredibly easy to be around. He, he, you know, he cares so much about uh, the work that he does, not just because of the end, not because of the end product, as much as for the experience of doing it, and for the people that are, are on it. And I think, you know, and I feel that's often the way I like to work as well. You know. Okay, videos marked. And action. Well, somebody's here. Connect me. I can back myself up in the cloud. You're an Oscar-winning cinematographer, and Transcendence is your first film as a director. How does it feel like to step into the director's chair? That feels wonderful. I, I've really enjoyed the experience in, in moving into the directing chair, and uh, uh, I've really enjoyed, you know, what we were able to do. So, how was the transition like from cinematographer to director? The, the transition was, for me, was felt uh, felt fine. Uh, there, there's so many new things that you're you're opening up from from my sort of tunnel tunnel vision of, of uh, you know looking at, at the world through a camera. Um, now I'm opening it up to. Sound 
sound and performance and uh, uh, design and, and visual effects. Um, so it, it really felt like I was able to, to sort of stretch with all my senses. And Johnny Depp <clears throat> stars in your first film. You must be very thrilled. How is it like working with Johnny and the rest of the cast? Well, I'm, I'm very fortunate to have been able to get Johnny Depp in my first film as the director and uh, and feel very humbled by this uh, as well as is uh, you know the, an incredible cast beyond Johnny including Morgan Freeman and Rebecca Hall Paul Bettany Kate Mara um, uh, who am I leaving out uh, anyway these uh, incredible actors have really supported me and uh, and you know we're a great reason uh, you know, we were able to do what we did on this film. That's awesome, that's great to hear. Yeah. And Transcendence is, it's a very complex movie. It's a very mm -hmm. heavy and tense film. Mm -hmm. And the topic of um, you know, artificial intelligence, it's, mm. it's very controversial. So was mm. it challenging um, you know, creating a film around this topic? I, I found it exhilarating and fascinating. So it, it helped drive sort of my interest in it. And the more you're sort of interested in, in you know, the minutia of a subject matter, I think the more you delve into it and hopefully the more detail you're able to bring to it. But artificial intelligence is a fascinating subject and it's, it's something that I think is on the minds of a lot of people these days. Awesome. Would you trust a sentient machine? Um, I would be very, very concerned <laughs> if a machine were truly sentient. Because <laughs> how do those, if it has that much power, if it has some kind of emotional breakdown, I wouldn't want to be around. It is a little scary. <laughs> it is. It's what is this? It's evolution. This isn't evolution. It's an abomination. What the hell's happening? I'm able to fix them. This has gone too far, Will. Stop it! I don't understand. This is the future. This is not our future. Evelyn! You're not here with me. Transcendence is rated PG-13 and is scheduled to be released April 18th. And we have exclusive footage from the stars of Transcendence. All you have to do is check out our Facebook page at Halo Halo with Kat and Eba. We'll be back.